Hello, hello, hello. I just wanted to show you how I'm going to make my steakum for lunch today. Um, this is what I use. Uh, I buy it at Y Supermarket in Pennsylvania. I don't think you, they're nationwide or all over the world, but if you could find something like this, I'm going to pop this open so you could see the actual meat. Okay, so I have popped open, open the meat, you meat lovers who know about meat. I think this looks like a good piece of meat, do you not think? Um, I think what I'm going to do is cook all of it with some of the onions, some of the uh, mushrooms. I'm not sure about garlic. I don't usually do that. Um, maybe I'll throw in, oh, definitely some peppers. I bought the peppers for it. And definitely some broccoli. And then I'm going to make a nice sandwich out of it. I guess I'm going to have to keep the broccoli out in that case. But at least the broccoli will be a side dish cooked in with the same juices let's see how this goes okay so I'm going to I decided to use my this is like a stone pot it's made of pure stone believe it or not I bought it from a Korean store It's one of the best of the best is better to me than uh, any other type of pot I mean it it re retains the heat okay so I'm going to pour some of this. I mean, I refill these bottles, so it's no longer by this company. I buy it in bulk. Extra virgin sesame oil. Although olive oil is really the best, this really gives it such a great taste that um, I'm cheating myself and not using olive oil because olive oil is so good. But I am taking a tablespoon of olive oil raw into my mouth before going to bed. And it's good to do that. Also take a little bit of warm water, not, 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 not cold or uh, room temperature and I'm not very good at doing that lately so let's get started here okay I'm not putting this on the stove yet because I'm going over this with you I only have one hand and my stove is already being used so I'm just going over this recipe with you okay so I'm just gonna chop up a piece of onion and there it goes I'm gonna chop up a piece of pepper I think I could keep the video on while I do this one and there it went See how easy? I figured something's going to get dirty. So even though you don't need to go through the shovel for little pieces, what the heck, I still have to wash whatever surface I'm using. So, hey, why not, right? Okay, so I don't know if I could do the same thing with a mushroom, but let's see. Let's see how that goes. I'm not too sure. Okay. I gotta open it up. It worked. It worked pretty good. Oh my goodness. And and these mushrooms are, are a little frozen. I don't want to admit it, but since it worked really good, maybe that's why it worked because it's frozen. Wow, look how easy that is. So now I have everything in the grinder, right? Everything is good to go. I'll put it this through here. Lift this up. Voila. Everything is intact. And then all I got to do is lift this other part off. So I needed two hands for that, right? Now, granted, the, 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 the oil is not bubbling or anything, but I only have two hands and um, I don't want to be reaching over to the stove. So I'm just going to pretend that it's boiling because I don't mind. This is like cooking like the Mexicans that they cook under under the ground. This is really the next best thing because they dig a hole and they cook. When they, when they go to when they go to town, that's what they to do. They cook uh, under under the ground, and uh, then they put a lid on it, set it, and forget it. So this is pretty much the same thing because this is this is a rock I'm cooking in. Okay. 